Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Again, depending on what part of the world you're in, I'm Anthony Daniels, and welcome back to the uh, Five Minute Facebook Ministry. And I just want to say a quick prayer, Father, that I just pray that everyone who hears this, Father, is blessed, is reached, Father, and will turn to you and will turn to seek you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. We're coming from Isaiah 45, verse 2. That's Isaiah 45, verse 2. I will go before you and will level the mountains. I will break down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. I will go before you and will level the mountains. I will break down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. This is Isaiah the prophet. And he is prophesizing what God is promising the people of Israel. And those problems are still valid today. And what God is saying is that he will go before us and he will level the mountains. What are the mountains in your life that need to be leveled by God? Any problem that you're having, in a situation that you're, that you're struggling, struggling with, that's the mountain in your life that God can level for you. He will break down gates of bronze. Are there things stopping you from achieving the things in life that you want to achieve? Are you trying to achieve things in life that have nothing to do with what God would have you do? That are unpleasing to God. But he'll break down those gates of bronze that are holding you back. So you can be free to do the things that will bring, that will bring you peace and joy on this earth. Those things come from God. He'll cut through bars of iron that, are, that have you restricted. You know, there's a whole lot of things that go, that go on in our world. You know, we are fighting a spiritual battle, and a lot of us don't even realize it. You know, that's why we're fighting a spiritual battle, and we don't even realize it. And when we don't realize it, it means we're losing the battle because we're not properly armed. Okay? And God is saying right here, he's going to fight that battle for you. He's going to level the mountains. He's going to break down the gates, and he's going to cut through the bars that are restricting you and holding you back from being who he wants you to be. You know, Everything that we do, everything that we do needs to be centered around the will of God. And uh, a lot of people think, okay, you know, why, do, why does everything I do need to be centered around the will of God? The first answer is because he's God. And he, can, and he wants to be involved in every situation in your life. He loves you that much. There's nothing... That is too small for you to bring to him. Okay? Just his love. That's his love. It has nothing to do with us. It's his love for us. He made us. He created us. I'm going to say again. He created us. He created you. You know, uh, if you're a parent, or even if you're not a parent, if you know someone you love and you're crazy about, you know, you want to spend time with. You no, know, you want to know what's going on in your kid's life in every aspect. You know, you don't want you don't want your kid doing things you don't know about it. That's how God is about us. He wants to know what's going on. So he can help us. So he can help us get through it. We got to turn to him. We got to turn to God. Because he's not going to force us. He's not going to force to knock that mountain out of your way. He wants you to come to him and, 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 and trust him to knock that mountain out your way. Because he'll do it. But he's not going to do it if you don't allow him. See, the only reason God doesn't operate in our lives is because we don't want him to. Or we don't let him. Even when we, even Some of us, we want him to, but we won't let him. We won't let go of things. We keep holding on to him. I mean, it's like, it's like being a tug of war. You know, God is trying to pull a problem away from us. And we steady pulling back on it. And that flag is going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Because God is trying to, he's not going to just yank it. He could, but he, he doesn't. He doesn't. Because he doesn't want to force anything on you. He's a, he doesn't want to force you to love him. He wants you to love him out of your own free will. He wants you to love him out of, his own, out of your own free will. And once you do that, you activate him in your life. He's going to knock down mountains. I mean, knock them down. There's no mountain too big. There's no obstacle that you have going on in your life that God cannot knock down. 
Okay, so again, get right with God. Get on your knees, say a prayer. Go to church. You know, when they do call a fellowship, go up and join a church. Learn what God wants you to know about how to live. Because he doesn't want us to live just to live. He wants us to live life to the fullest. I'm Anthony Daniels, and I love you, and God bless you.